GameMaker Studio 2.3 came out recently and if you updated you might have seen that scripts are now different. If you create a script or open one, you're gonna see a function and you're gonna see that all of your code is thrown inside that function. So what does this mean and how is it different from what we had before? Previously if you wanted to make a function, you had to make a script. So you would make one new script and in that script you would add all the code that you wanted the script to have. Then anywhere else you would simply call that script and it would simply run executing all of the code inside it. So that one script was one function. What has changed in 2.3 is that you can now have multiple functions in the same script. So now a function is not defined by a script but by the function keyword. So you write the function keyword then the name of your function. Then you open parentheses and here you write all of your arguments and then you start writing your function. So this is how you make functions now. If you create a new script there will always be a function there with the same name as the script and you need to add your function code inside here. Now to access your function arguments you can still use argument 0, argument 1 and so on but you don't have to do that anymore. You can now enter your arguments here and you can then simply use them anywhere in the function. So this makes the function much easier to write and to understand. Now the function name that you need to use when calling the function should be the name that you entered here. The name of the script doesn't matter anymore and that can be anything. Now this means that you can create multiple functions inside one script simply by writing function again and defining a new function. Anything you write outside of a function for example here will be executed as soon as the game starts. So keep that in mind. So this is basically what the change is about but there is much more to it. You can learn all about what's new in this video right here. Also make sure to subscribe to catch all my future game maker videos and I'll see you in the next one.